So you know how Google has those things where you fill in the blank, like you type, you start to type something in. It's called autofill. Yeah, we're gonna do some autofill this morning. About midwives. About midwives. Mid is it midwife? Midwifery? Is it midwifery? It's midwifery. It's midwifery. Thank you. Thank you for I mean, establishing that. Depends right. on who you ask, but yeah, midwifery. Pretty sure it's always midwifery. It should be midwifery because it should be. That just makes more sense. But the plural is midwives. <laughs> Midwifery. Midwifery. <laughs> First question is, how does a midwife work? We don't. We just sit around and drink coffee all day. <laughs> and make videos. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. How do it work? End of the video right there. We have... Ways of making you talk. We have... Ways of making you open your legs. We have... <laughs> Private clients. We also yes. work in group practice. We offer oh, out of look at you go. hospital services um, for prenatal and postpartum care. And we offer health care and well woman care and hormonal care and menopausal migraine. care. I've been getting a lot of questions about migraines this week. Like, I even help people deal with yeah. their migraines because almost all of women's migraines are due to headache. Mm -hmm. right. Headache? Yeah, sorry. Hormones. Hormones, yeah. Mm -hmm. Migraines are due to headaches, too. <laughs> <laughs> and typically, like I said, we work in a group practice or we have our own practices and we have clients who hire us for their pregnancy and we attend them at the same schedule as an OB and we attend their birth at home and then we provide very extensive postpartum care for them and we take care of newborns too. Well baby. That's a really interesting question now that you you like really fleshed it out but I kind of didn't like how does a midwife how work? How does it work? Yeah. How does it work? Yeah. yeah. You find us and we become your care provider through the entire journey of your pregnancy and postpartum. Mm -hmm. And then, or you find us and we become your well person provider and we check your bits and... You don't even have to be pregnant. Yeah. And sometimes insurances help pay for us, sometimes they don't. You have to look at your insurance plan and ask Is that a your... word? Insurances? So, but yeah, I liked your first answer. Yeah. Midwives don't work. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pick the next one. All right. We might need to uninvite the plant for next video. How does a midwife help during pregnancy? <laughs> I'm really glad that didn't land in my cup. I thought it was going to be at my face. Um, <laughs> How does a midwife help during pregnancy? So, you know how during pregnancy everybody goes to a provider and like gets their belly checked and gets, gets their, their blood pressure checked. taken, gets their baby checked, like, and that takes like three minutes? Yeah. So that's not what we do. We do all that stuff, but then we also do another 45 minutes usually, depending on the midwife you're working with, but about another 45 minutes of how are you, how's your partnership, how are you eating? Um, what so, are your expectations? Yeah. What How do you... we like support this pregnancy so that you can be as healthy as humanly possible and yeah. get you ready for a birth so your birth can be as as amazing and powerful and supportive and supported and like everything that it can be for you. Yeah, what she said. Mm -hmm. So that's what we do in pregnancy and we talk about what labs are coming up, we talk about what um, expectations mm -hmm. you have, we try to make sure that every decision is yours and your partner's if you have a partner. So that um, you are loving the experience of having our care. Mm -hmm. It's personalized mm -hmm. in a nutshell. And if something's going wrong, actually that's another thing, you know, you don't, you don't only hire a midwife for the glorious parts. You hire a midwife because we're really good at solving problems when things come up. So we have a whole um, toolbox, including doctors and and like Western medicine that's we can refer you to, but we're, we're really connected to our communities. And so we might um, send you to the chiropractor or the acupuncturist or the pelvic floor therapist or your marriage therapist or aromatherapy or like 
homeopathy. Like we have this huge toolbox to help with all the little problems that come up in pregnancies and um, and birth and postpartum. All right. Yeah. Nice. Do midwives practice witchcraft? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> How does a midwife know when it's time to come to my house when I'm in labor? Mm -hmm. I think that's what that means. You're when you call, we come. Or you let us know. We so triage normal. you like Batman. over the phone. We find out what you've been, what your activity has been in your cervix, and your uterus, how things are going. Um, we check and find out how much sleep you've had. We check and find out how much you've eaten over the phone. We find out if your water's <laughs> you broken. Over the phone? Yeah. <laughs> we find out if your water's broken, or we find out how frequent your contractions are, and if your baby's moving. And then we come up with a plan. That sounds about right to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we might come rushing over if it's your. You should see how amazing we look baby. when we like rush over at two o'clock in the morning. Yes. Like we jump in our Porsche. <laughs> Our Audi. Okay, sorry. She has an Audi. I have a Porsche. <laughs> I like jump in my Porsche, which is just a two-seater, and then <laughs> <laughs> my hair is like flying back. It's really beautiful. Yeah. And amazing. I arrive at your house with like full makeup uh -huh. and like like well, a you have like a glam a... squad that gets you ready before you go to the birth. <laughs> yeah. Right. I'm like always ready at like two o'clock in the morning. Yeah. To look amazing just in at case. your birth. Just in case. And then I show up in my like. I sleep with my makeup on every night, <laughs> just in case. I get called to a birth. <laughs> but truly, we come rushing if you have a history of really fast labors. Or, or if, if you're a second you, time mom who says that you can feel the baby coming. That's right. Or if we call, we talk to you and you're going, ah, 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 and you're pushing. <laughs> it happened to me. Yeah. It happens. <laughs> or we, we assess where you're at and we say, okay, go back to bed and get some rest, and we'll check in in the morning. That's true. Have you ever had to go to somebody's house, and like you go to their house, and you check on them, and then you're like, oh, it's too yeah. early, and then you go back, and you Absolutely. go home? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Happens a lot. Happens. Yeah. yeah. That's fine. It's fine. That's what we're there for. We love going to births. It's all dolled up. <laughs> in our, How? In, in my Porsche. How do you break your waters? How does a midwife break How your waters? How does a midwife break your water? Wait for so. it. Wait for it. I just happen to have right here. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Can you see this? Dun, what dun, is dun, that? Dun. What is that, Katie? Tell us. Asia, this is called an amni hook. And an amni hook fancy. has a fancy little hook on the end of it. A little tiny thing like a crochet needle. Mm hmm or crochet hook. And if you chose to have your waters broken, which almost no one in, in a community birth ever does, but if you did, which never never happens. I've only gotten to break somebody's water like twice. Really? Maybe three or four times. Okay. Yeah. So then, it's some actually people, pretty... Some people choose to have it done. Or you get yeah. to a point where you discuss it and That's it's a wise true. choice. Right. It happens. Yeah. So you put the amni hook in. I put it in so my fingers go into the vagina and then I find the cervix, which is open enough for me to put my fingers through. And then I guide the amni hook along the fingers. And then I turn the little hook up towards the amniotic sac, which I can feel with my fingers. And then I just go. Sorry. <laughs> and then you get a huge gush of water. Yes, we always put on protective, you know, goggles, like a whole, like a, like a scuba suit. Yeah, a whole scuba suit. <laughs> <laughs> pants. Yeah, this, you, know. you guys are not sure which part of this is true, huh? Fishing pants that go yeah. up to your... <laughs> Seriously. Galoshes. My partner galoshes. Jess is always really good at getting full splash. Is she? Yeah. That's like her specialty? That's her thing. Uh -huh. yeah. Does she have like special shirts that like, yes. she says, oh, I remember when that baby was born. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Absolutely. I remember the first time I got baptized. Yeah. That was exciting. Do you? Yeah, but not always, not usually because of this. Usually just the water breaks on its yeah. own and then you're just covered in it. That happens too. Yeah. Have you, have you been baptized? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. New socks and everything. Ooh, new socks. You, know, you always got to carry a fresh pair of socks. One time I needed to jump into the tub to help this baby out and like my entire everything 
Yeah. <laughs> my socks, my underwear, my pants, everything. Right, in there. Yeah. <laughs> in the tub. In the tub we go. We will get in that tub with you. She will. <laughs> I don't I don't do that anymore. <laughs> and do tubs. I don't do tubs anymore. All right. How does a midwife induce labor? Oh. Do you ever induce Do we do We don't We have ways to get your baby to come around. Mm. Yeah. My usually my uh Old elder midwives, oh my gosh, they're not old, but the people who taught me were very good at getting babies to come out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's the secret? What's one of their secrets? You know, a, a cervix, a good uh, cervical sweep, mm -hmm. and some really strong herbs, mm -hmm. and I like to add in some nipple stimulation and pumping. Stop it. <laughs> That is can be very effective. Yes. And then there's always the old castor oil. Mm -hmm. But since we're saying this on tape, and you are getting this maybe in, like, you know, some place where you don't have the uh, information from a care provider, definitely be very careful when you're using these things. And Absolutely. We, you know, you can look up a lot of things on the Internet, but, but just check with your care provider. I'm planning to use castor oil or I'm planning to take herbs. What's your experience with that? Does that sound good to you, too? Mm -hmm. There's another thing, midwives. Do you know this? Like, the midwife that trained me, Andrea, mm -hmm. she would always ask her clients to tell her if she was gonna, if they were going to start castor oil because... Yeah. Heck yeah. Because you could already be at... I could already be at a birth when my client's like, oh, I think I want my baby to come today. I'll just drink the castor oil. Yeah. Yeah. No. We want to do know. Don't do that to your midwife. We want to know. And we want to help guide you. <laughs> How does a midwife sweep your membranes? What does that even mean, Asia? Well, what kind of membranes are we sweeping? What you want to do is separate the membranes from the uterine wall. And you I use your fingers. Say from the brain. And you want to use your fingers. The membrane from the brain. No. Insane in the membrane. <laughs> you have to be very careful not to break the waters. So you want to make sure that you have a skilled provider. Um, and it's something that um, sometimes can be very very uncomfortable for people um, and sometimes it's like you nothing even feel it. it's crazy mm -hmm. so it really varies from cervix to cervix and Katie has something to say about it and you have to your cervix has to be open enough mm -hmm. like one or two centimeters yeah in order for the midwife to get their fingers through the cervix mm -hmm. and it's like you put your fingers between the uterine like the pelvis, the, I can feel the bones of the pelvis, and then between that and the baby's head. You can't really feel a membrane. I think that's interesting to mention. Like, you can't tell that there's a bag usually, but you uh, but you know that that's where you are because... Guiding along. And it causes a big release of hormones, um, prostaglandins, prostaglandins. And, hor and then those trigger hormones to be released. So that's why sweeping the membranes can be helpful in getting labor going. And, and you can also stretch the cervix out while you're in there. And I've known you midwives. You or me, your care provider. We, we can. Our care provider. Um, I've known midwives to do pressure points on the cervix too. Oh, smart. And it really helps to have strong hands as a midwife. Mm -hmm. Yes, it does. And <laughs> I don't have them, but it helps have long fingers as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm a massage therapist also, so it comes in handy to have mm. strong handies. Yeah. Um, what else was I going to say? That's it. We're all done. There's nothing else in the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> the cup is empty. Our cup is empty. As are our coffee cups. So thanks for tuning in. If you have more questions, put them. I know you have questions. Put them in the comments below. Tell us what you want to see episodes about. And we are here to serve the, the people of our country, the people of the world. We're here to spread the word of midwifery. Yes, we are. Because midwives have six times community midwives who are independently practicing um, women business owners have a six time lower cesarean rate than any hospital, in, at least in our region. That's hospital right. cesarean rates around 35%. Our rate is, uh, is less than 5%. So easily a six times lower C-section rate than the hospitals. We don't do C-sections. 
No, but our clients do sometimes have to transfer and get them, and that rate is less than 5%. So, Thank you for watching. Thanks Please for subscribe. And keep us on your journey. Yeah. Hi, I'm Katie Asia. Hi, I'm Asia Bueller. <laughs> I'm Asia Marin. You're so quick. <laughs> Hi, I'm Midwife Asia. <laughs> and that's Midwife Katie.